YouTube, this is another video review from Super Apple Forever. In this video, I'm going to be explaining how to make a custom icon for an application or a folder. Now, there's a few different ways to do this. Um, the first one is to go to Google Images, and uh, that's probably the easiest, or I mean the the uh, quickest way, and and probably the easiest way. So what you want to do is go to Google and find an image that you want. I'm just going to use a random image, um, full size image, and then right click and then save image as, and then you select where you want it to save, and you can change the name if you'd like. <clears throat> Another thing is that um, the bigger the image is, the better it's going to look down here. Now, it's really not going to matter too much unless you really want it to look uh, good because you're taking a big image and uh, sizing it down into this little image like, like one of these. And um, it's probably, this isn't a very big image, so it'll, it'll, it'll look good anyway. Um, but the only thing you wouldn't want to do is maybe like one of these images right here that's a 50 by 50. Some of them will look okay, but some of them might. See, there's a comparison of of the doc and that image. So, um, once you do that, you uh, save. Once you um have your save image, your saved image. Um, you open your image up, and you can crop it too if you want. Um, but. To get all the whiteness out, you hold in on select and then instant alpha. And then zoom in so you can see the pixels. And then um, drag down until you have the pixels that you want uh, taken out. Press delete. And that's what it'll look like. And you'll have to take them out of here too. And then you go to a file and then save or save as and save it where you'd want. Um, when you do that, make sure it's saved as as a uh, PNG and an alpha select is selected because um, PNG is the only uh, image uh, image type that can support. The, this kind of picture. So uh, once you do that, um, what you want to do is open your image up. This is my uh, cropped image and fixed up image that I want. Um, I'm gonna be I'm gonna be replacing. Uh, in, uh, okay. So uh, then you open up your applications and uh, R, your folder that you want to change the picture on. Um, th so what I was saying earlier is that this is a Mac OS 9 emulator and it has a picture of a sheep in it on it instead of a Mac OS 9 picture. And I, I don't see what a sheep has to do with um, Mac OS 9 unless it's, it is the brand of the emulator. But um, what you want to do is go to go over here and press command A, command all, and it'll select all the image, the whole image, and then you press command copy to copy the image. And uh, once you do that, you press command I on on uh, the file that you want to change the picture on. You select the image, make sure it's uh, surrounded in blue, and then you press command V. And then see, it'll change the image. Now, if you have the uh, program in the dock, the image is going to stay this the as the old image until you replace and, and but what you have to do is drag the uh, application out of the dock um like this drag it out of the dock and then just put it back in put it back in, on the dock and um so you can have your image So there it is. It uh, this one looks really good, and um, that's about all you have to do. Um, you can do this on Photoshop, except it it uh, it is a little bit harder. I mean, it if you know how to use Photoshop, it's not hard. It's just um, 
it's a little bit easier to do it with a preview. It's uh, it's quicker, obviously, and um, you get the same result. But uh, that's just personal preference. Um, if you if you are gonna do it with Photoshop, you need to go to the image and um, press Command I on the image and um, select and select the image up here or down here on that cure with Photoshop and then copy that image and paste it on uh, the application that you want to change the image on. I know this is sounding very uh, confusing so I'm sorry. Um, but um, so let's say that you don't like that image after all and you want to replace it to the default image. All you have to do is press, press Command I again, select the image and then press the delete key and then it'll go back to the default image. And um, again, you'll have to take it out of the dock and put it back in again. So that's about it. Um, if you have any questions, please feel free to ask me. Um, I'd love to help you if, you have any, if you're having any problems. Um, also, there are some websites that uh, specialize in icon pictures. I'll I know of some that I'll put in the description if you want to check those out. Um, sometimes they even come in sets, like if you want your folders to have an aluminum look to them or something like that. Um, so I'll put those in the description. So thanks for watching. Please like and please subscribe.